We're packing up for action track, driving only. We got quite the pile of junk here, don't we? Well, it's really hot out today. It's like 100 degrees, so I packed cool for a water. Yeah. We also have my pillow, blanket. It's what? actually it's actually a Snuggie. Why do you need a pillow? Because I want to take a nap what? in the car. It's pretty far. Because Heather was up at 3.40 this morning? For cool. work. Now we're here. I was up at 4 yesterday, and I worked 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so then I got um, my chair, and we got our bag, and Bill brought some tear-offs, and we brought a receiver and the GoPro. So I think we're ready, right? Action track, here we come. We're getting ready. How's it gonna go? Good question. I'm, <laughs> I'm not nervous, uh, but I have no idea what to expect. So no expectations, because I've never done this before. <laughs> Speedster time. Hi, I'm Billy Dietrich, sprint car mechanic and driver. I've been around racing my whole life and it's pretty much all I know. We created this channel to share the good, and the bad, and everything in between. Our crew may not be the most experienced or professional, but we get it done and we have a good time doing it. We'll show you what it's really like racing weekly at some of the best tracks in Central Pennsylvania. I'm also going to share some quick car tutorials, mechanics, and parts, and whatever else I feel like. Like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, boy. Alright, we're here. Action track in the pits. But we don't know where we're going. We got our helmet and suits. How I get the car going, you're gonna go over that with me? Yeah, I'll go over that. Okay, all right, good. Can't figure out what to put you or whatever, so. Okay. Yeah, just like a modified or anything else. Yeah, yeah, okay. just you know, low gear, like fill and go over with okay. it. Okay, yeah. perfect. So you go around this way, hopefully. All yeah. right. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Have uh, fun. Yeah, perfect. We'll be along now. We'll have a ton of 600s tonight. Yeah. yeah. So. I mean, Did you have more banking than last year? Uh, a little bit. Looks like yeah, way up top. Yeah, looks yeah, like yeah. I watched the. I took all the monster truck clay they gave me and put it up there. Did you? Yeah, yeah. But it it it, it made it a little too much top, you know. Um, and it's hard now to get the box. Like usually I would chew up the bottom a little bit so you can nibble around there, you know. But the problem is when you do that, it throws all the crumbs right. away and it ruins everything. Right. You know, so. But, so it's just a slide down deal most of the time. Uh, uh, junior goes good. You know, Billy Pops Jr. is one of the few that can go in the middle and nibble. Right. The car you're going to run, yeah, I ran that at Bloomsburg, and that car, that car roots really good. That, if any car could go through the middle and stuff, that car will do it. Like right on the banking, like right yep. where it starts there. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Uh, But you'll say at first flight, they have more power than I thought. No, they don't have power, they have more track. Okay. They have no tracks. It's hard legend car. All right. Well, I never drove anything like this. So. Yeah. No. So, but you never ran wingless sprinter. The very one. No. And you said this ain't for me. Right. Yeah, it wasn't for me. <laughs> it didn't last uh, long. It put it that way. Yeah, yeah. This is a little different. Yeah. Um, but, but you're usually a middle bottom feeder guy a little bit more too, though. Yeah. You're not a cushion rammer. Right. Oh, yeah. We got. yeah, give her hell. All, All right, right. have fun. Yep. Here we go. All what right. Do you, what do you need, Bill? I'm just looking We're going to draw to see how and take a ride get. in this awesome golf cart. Super fun. You're going to get in line there and All right. give her your grand number. Okay. Where is it? Do you, oh, you gave it back to me? I think you have it. We're a good team. <laughs> this one here? All right, I drew a 14. 
I know, it's pretty good. Usually I draw like a 58. <laughs> That's how I am. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, what's good up? Tonight. All right, you have fun. You better be stocked up over there. I'm ready. <laughs> I don't. I stoned six of these big the ones on. Did you really? How many of them are there usually here? 20, 25. Okay, so there's usually not a B main then. No. Okay, that's good. That's real good. A lot of cars here tonight. 600. Yeah. How many 600s do you think there'll, there'll be 90? 100. 100? Oh my God. I saw there was 80 last night at Speed Week. It's crazy. They have time warm ups for these things. That's how you get your starting spot in heat. Right Is that for the 600s too? I don't know about that. Oh, they might have regular time, just, just, just for just ours. ours. Time warm ups. The, first, the top two time trials don't have to run heat race. Oh, really? That's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Oh, he's got my name on the car. Oh, he's got my name on the He's trying to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, he got my name on it. He got his winning out of the car. Here's the ride. I'm going to hop in, put my shoes on. There ain't much room in there. Make sure the dogs fit and everything. Don't hurt yourself now. Yeah. Are you going to get a halo fit? on here? Guys slip in through here? Maybe somebody should show you how to do it. Hey Dylan, how do you get in? Show the dock? Him. You do? Maybe you should show them how you do it. <laughs> transmission in here right between your legs there's like no room like the sprint car doesn't have that it's a little different than my my seat belt how so well mine my latch on the right and this one latch on the left Getting ready to go here to Kutztown. We uh, Heather signed us in. The format is timed warm ups, so that's going to be something something different. I guess our goal is to shoot for the top 16. I don't know how many cars are here, but they uh, said usually like low 20s, low like 20, 20, 21. So my goal is to shoot for the top 16 and do some kind of an invert, and that's the goal. I got in the car, got it all fitted in. The belts were pretty close, so I didn't have to adjust any of that. Got to go in from the top, so that's different. But, uh, Second time here, first time we were here last year with the 410 on this tiny little track. I don't know how, how well you can see it, but it's, uh, it's really tiny. Come see the whole thing. It's called Action Track for a reason. They typically run 600 micros here every week, and these pieces, so. 600 Wait. micro a week not right now. Yeah, 600, 600 micros for speed, speed week right Speed now. week, Hyper right. Well, we really butchered week. that, didn't we? Yeah. We're not micros, we're close enough. So. Track's pretty wet. I have an idea where I need to be. Do you think it'll affect the track that there's 90, 600s here? It's gonna affect it some, for sure, I would think. But they usually do quite a bit of track prep. But we're right in town, so I think there's a, a stiff curfew here, right, Heather? Yeah, they gotta so have the lights off by a certain time. Quick. So, 6 o'clock, I believe, is uh, warm ups. You have to know where we go out in order, but we'll get all that figured out. I'm gonna so. try to go, like, and I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna go over here to sit in this cool little covered pit grandstands. We're standing, in, we're standing in turn three. We're looking to turn two. 
the tractor there, he's in turn one, and of course there's the main grandstand, and then there's the flag stand. In turn four, so. Yep, and this turn four here, and the car's staged like back there, right? Yep. Like on yep. that side of the truck, and then they come on there, so they can kind of like line them up. They keep the show moving pretty good. Yeah. So we're, it's called the Action, Action Tracker in Kutztown, PA. We're actually right on the University of Kutztown, so that's pretty unique in itself. And the racetrack is part of the university. Well, it's part of the fairgrounds. It's across the, the street from the university. The fairgrounds are here, but uh, as far as me, he's getting ready to go, so I'm going to walk down to the meeting and see what we got to do. I got muddy shoes. Yeah, Heather got splashed by mud. I had to uh, yeah, it all over me. So we found a friend. Oh, from yeah. regular racing. It's all a 410 race car driver. Yeah, big sexy right here. Big sexy. I'm not sure which one's sexier. <laughs> so are you helping somebody tonight? Or are you hanging out with yeah, 600s? I'm helping Reese Notarski. Okay, awesome. They're going to win it all. You guys are going to take it all. This is a driver here. Snowmobile with them sunglasses. You could, and ski. Yep. No, 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 no skiing. Hey, driver. Driver's meeting right now. Make your way to the driver's meeting right now. Oh, I'll let you go. I'm going to go put the GoPro on. All right, bye. What do you think, Nate? Uh, it's cool. I don't know about this. It looks like we're going like offshore racing or something. Like, I don't know. I've never seen, seen them before, so. Oh, man. Even people that are here can't stop at all. Oh, you're so full of yourself, Chris uh, Frank. I'm sure there's nowhere you can go. If you find another United States, somebody won't recognize me. <laughs> Even in Alaska. He is kind of a big deal. Tighten the GoPro, right?
push you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's get it to work right first. Let's get it to work right first. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and like we're gonna get it in second gear. Okay, you just can't pull it. That's right. We'll push you off like a sprint car. You're okay. in gear now? Yeah, we're in gear. Alright, push them off. We'll do that for your heat too. Central PA at the racetrack. It's true. We got some treats. The French fries. Uh -huh. so, we're, just, we're just waiting for the 90 some 600s to finish running their heat races. 10 heat races for them guys. Pretty crazy. It's hot. Really hey, super hot here. Yep. All right, so speech are racing tonight. We've got some questions here about the car. So tell us 
what's the car weigh and what's under the hood? Uh, the car with the driver has to be 1,430 pounds after a few races after the feature. Um, it has a 2.4 liter Dodge Neon engine. Um, it's like a 240 horsepower, 245 horsepower. Um, it has you know, race car parts in it. It's a stock block, stock head, but the actual internals of the engine are race car parts. Yeah, they're pretty durable. You can run 20, 25 races a year and not have to rebuild the engine. Looks like it's got mechanical fuel injection on it. Yeah, that's pretty yep. neat. Yep. Mechanical fuel injection with a magneto. Pretty simple, easy to paint. Yep. Two speed transmission, right? Yep. Which I struggle with. <laughs> but I was doing it wrong, but I'm going to do better this time. So <laughs> the car uh, looks pretty sturdy. Yeah, no, they're, they're definitely built heavy um, to knock down the wall and keep going. Um, like I said, Rich, Richard builds cars that are going to fall apart every weekend. You, you don't have to change parts because they fatigue. They, you change parts because you crash. So what's the cost of one of these cars to get into one? Like if you just wanted well, I mean, to get one. You can get a, a good used car for ten to $12,000. Uh, we raise for $2,500 weekly, uh, 200 to start. So if you do that math, it's pretty good. A new car is probably around $22,000 right now, race ready. ready. Um, so what's like the tire cost or the weekly cost of something like this? Like here we don't wear tires. You can get three, four races out of them easily. Uh, but right rear, I think 190, right around there. So that's significantly cheaper than a sprint car tire. Yeah, so it's pretty economical if you wanted to go get into something here. On, and you guys have to travel and race too, right? Yeah, we have, usually Bridgeport, we have three or four races a year. We have two races at Bloomsburg, one race at Grandview. Um, yeah, it's tough to get tracks to pay this purse when they can get sports to modify or other divisions to run for nothing. So sure. it, it, once you go take your, once you race for less money at the tracks to get races, you're never going to get other tracks to pay you that. So that's, right. where, that's where the struggle is. But it's, it's definitely, this, this year, uh, interest is coming back for sure. Yeah, so from my perspective so far, uh, I would say it really felt like the sprint car. And to me, as far as a power steering, just like the sprint car does, the same seat, same position. Basically, the pedals are the same way. So it's just, you know, the transmission, the shifting was a little, was a little different, but I know what I was doing wrong, so that's not too bad. Uh, the car does, there's no wing, so it just drives, drives, it enters the corner different, so. Yeah, they're, they're definitely driver's cars. They're not easy cars to drive, uh, but for a young kid that's coming up, that wants to be a race car driver, wants to prove himself, it's a perfect deal to get into because you're racing against Phil and Hal weekly. Uh, so if you beat them, you know, Timmy Buckwater and all those guys, you're beating somebody, right? Yeah. So. Yeah, and you're gonna get to to make the feature because the car counts are a little low. Yeah, we're not... right around the 22 car. We start 22 cars a week, so we're right around there right now. But hopefully, towards the end of the year, the car counts come back. Whereas if they come here in a 600, they might not ever make a feature until they get you know a little yeah, bit I, better. I think weekly, we're averaging 50 to 60. 600. Right. Right. So big guys field. Don't get the race all year. So. All right. Well, well, I guess we'll see how you do. Yeah. He races next. We didn't really make any changes. I don't think because I'm really. Well, that's another thing it's, it's too. It's up to me, really. Um, like, that I noticed is that you don't need a fuel guy and a tire guy and all that stuff. No, and, no, except one guy can. If, if, if it's just normal, put fuel in the car, check tires. You can have a crew of one guy. Uh, yeah, you're not, not remounting not, tires. No, you're and, not. Except you can't you can't stipe or groove your tire. You can sand them, so they're not saved a lot of time every week in the shop. And yeah, you're not you're not changing tires every time you come in either. If you have a good baseline setup, you usually don't vary too far off of that. Pretty neat. Alright, take a look at this thing. Anything you want to point out on here, Bill? Uh, I mean... As I stand on the tire hose. Yeah. I mean, it's, like I said, it's pretty much like a... It feels like the sprint car does in the cockpit-wise. Uh, yeah, you know, the fuel injection's right here. It's hanging out the side of the car. Kind of like a midget would have an injection out of the car, right? Yep. And, uh, yeah, it's just pretty straightforward. Full over shocks, no torsion bars. So that's that's different. And uh, basically the same principle as a sprint car. Got solid straight tube axle. And then you've got a live axle rear end, too. So quick change rear. So, a lot of similarities, although there's a lot of differences. So, anything 
the off. The header comes out the right side. Pretty unique. That's different. And there's a fuel tank under all this sheet metal. This is just for luck. I told Nate you look like him getting down off the trailer when you get in there. So what do you think? You did really good. 
definitely a lot better there. I was able to use a lot more brake to try and turn the car. Um, definitely a little free. Now I'm driving the car better. I think I'm, I'm losing. So. Six to third. That's good, I think. Yeah. Good, good job, babe. Get ready for the A main here. We're taking the car up so well. I moved to the outside on that restart. I really wasn't sure about the top. I really cleaned off. The hole getting into one, I hit that a couple times. One time got a little out of shape, but that's terrible. Terrible. I thought you looked pretty good. Yeah. I mean, like, I'm not sure how to race this car. Like choppy, you were like really getting smooth in there. Well, yeah, I'd say you're right. Like, take some racing to get used to racing this kind of car. That's for sure. 
know, it doesn't, the characteristics of it are almost opposite of what I'm used to. So, I don't know where I finished. But I don't either. Wasn't terrible. Missed that guy, got spun out. I was close. Everybody came to watch. These guys did a good job on the crew. Thank you for the opportunity. And, uh, Guys every time we try to do a video. Like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. Check out the speeches on Flow. Action Hold Track USA. Action Track USA. Thanks, uh, Rich it's a, it's a pretty cool facility, yeah. and it, it's fun time. Yeah. yeah. On Wednesday night, we got a nice thing going on here, so. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks for everybody who tunes in. Comment below. Like reading all the comments.